From our beginning, we built our firm in partnership with financial advisors for one simple reason. We think the skill set of managing a portfolio, of managing assets, is different than the skill set of managing a client and managing their behavior. And yet, both are important to the end result that the client achieves. So while Danton, I and our team come to work trying to generate good investment results over a long period of time, the real value that a financial advisor adds is in managing the behaviors. Dalbar has a study that shows over 20 years, while the average investment return has been around 9%, the average investor was only getting five. And the difference, that 400 basis points per year over 20 years, that difference was driven by the timing of the investment decisions. Now, what are the reasons for this? Right? The reasons are often that they get excited when prices have gone up and they get depressed after prices have gone down, with the result that they end up buying high and selling low. But they also tend to react to forecasts. They read an article saying, now's a good time to invest or now's a bad time to invest, and they react to it as if it somehow has great predictive value. And that can be dangerous. They also react to fads. Whatever is the fad of the day, people want to do that. We're social animals and tend to want to stick with the herd. Now, they're antidotes to this sort of behavioral penalty, to this timing penalty, but they aren't easy. They take discipline. It's the, 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 the discipline to have an investment plan, maybe to engage a trusted financial advisor, and then to stick with it through thick and thin. Now, if they're able to do this, if they're able to close that timing and selection penalty, they're going to do much better towards achieving their end financial goals.